day 88 solution then. I forked my blog engine from yesterday, again. <laughs> Let's go in and pop in the security, the secret, sorry, so that it actually works. Now, what was my secret called? It was called secret key. So let's put a secret key in and I'm just, again, just mashing the keyboard, random stuff. The longer the better for a secret key. And I should now be able to actually run it. Great, the complex version, or sorry, the, the simple version of authentication is on. So let's go and put authentication up. Pull that over here, because I'll need it for a while. Actually just use the split so it's on the side there. Splits are a really nice feature of the Replit interface, I think. Just lets you customize what you're doing. So I'm gonna turn on custom button. Good, so if I stop this and run it again now, hopefully I shouldn't see that login page there. Good, let's go and put this in the HTML. So our blog page will need it because we're gonna replace this code with the login button. So let's put the login button in there. Great, let's put the auto add script up here and we should be good. There we go, we've got a login button now. So the important thing is we need to change that around a little bit. Of course, I don't need the login form anymore. Let's go to main and let's go through our pages now and think about what we actually need. Okay, so if we go to a standard login, the user ID is David at Replit, go to the edit page. Now we don't need a login form anymore, so we can actually delete all that code. We don't need a login page. We can delete that code as well. We do need an edit page, it's only for me. Uh, we do need an add page, it's only for me. We need a logout page, yeah, sure. We can fiddle with that later. So I'll remove the logout code as well because we don't really need to log our users out, which means that on my edit page, I don't need that log out button. So let's just comment that out. There we go. Back to main.py and let's start thinking about how this page is actually gonna run. First of all, if I don't log in, I am gonna see this page, great. If I do log in, I'm gonna end up at my page. Now I do wanna change that to user ID though, because username is a bit dangerous to use. If I'm using username, what that means is if I change my username, I can't get back in. So one of the first things I'll need to do is actually get my user ID. So I'm gonna get that by replacing this bit here for index with user ID. And I'm going to print my user ID on the screen just so that I can see it pop up in the console. If I log in then, and I go back, we should see, there we go, my user ID being printed out there. So let's change that to that. I don't want to cause an infinite loop, so I do need to change that here as well. Anywhere else where I put it in. So hopefully this should recognize me now once I log in, which it has. And if I'm just a generic user here, I don't get any of that detail, which is quite nice. So don't forget that user ID will never change. That's always my user ID. So I'm in a pretty good place here in that even if I change my user ID, I'll always be allowed in. So I can log in, I can get and change my blog. Anybody else can come in here, but what about a user that logs in and isn't me? So they try to authenticate and it's not me. Well, let's do this. We've said, if it's that, otherwise LF user ID will basically say, well, look, if there is a user ID, Let's do something else and let's return for them a redirect to a page called Naughty. We're going to tell them off for being naughty. Otherwise, we'll just load the page as normal. I'm going to pull that in to my edit page as well. I'm trying to add an edit page as well. So if it's not me, but they've tried to log in, it's going to kick them to a page called Naughty. So let's see that work. That's okay here, that's not liking it. That's trying to pass me on. Ah, it's because I've got it the wrong way around here, okay. Okay, so we won't put it on those pages, we'll just put it on the main page there because the, thinking about that is gonna make my brain hurt. This should be okay though. 
let's have a go. Open a new page, there we go. So I'm okay. And if somebody tries to log in that's not me, then they're gonna be in with a problem. We're gonna set up the naughty page for them with an app root. And all I'm gonna do here is return something like, maybe put an emoji of somebody sticking their tongue out. There we go, from my, from an account that doesn't, shouldn't let me in. It says I'm not allowed, which is pretty good actually. So there we go, a bit more of a custom login and a working web app. That's pretty cool.